off the breakfast with Bob from the Tev Challenge Roth, powered by Hep. My name is Bob Babbler, brought to you by Master Spas, S Fuels Go Logger, Hoka Let's Fly, Form Sparks Foot Goggles, Zoot Sports, the original triathlon brand, Premium of Sports, and our Challenge Athletes Foundation, and our accordion player, Mr. Rayner. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Rainer, you are the best. I love it. <laughs> That's great. Our next guest, he's had a really good start to his season. Jason Pohl joins us. Jason, 7th uh, at Boulder, 16th St. George, 12th Ironman South Africa. I bet you're just happy to be racing again. Yes, yes, happy to be racing. Happy to be here. First time here, too. So. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Have you had a chance to spend some time on the course? Uh, yeah, yeah, I rode the course on Tuesday. Um, phenomenal roads. Oh, my God. Like, no, roads pristine. are just a, Yeah. Yeah, you don't find um, roads like that in most parts of the world. They're no, just like, no. They're like slick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can really yeah. ride. Yeah. So. And what's cool is being a two-loop course, you just ride yourself, just go do a 56-mile ride and you got the whole course down yeah yeah <laughs> what'd you think a solar hill without people is pretty mellow yeah yeah i was like what's oh, the big this deal is, this is solar hill but then ah. I, it just completely transforms i've heard so oh, oh you're gonna yeah. you are in for a treat so <laughs> talk a little you had two torn achilles what happened yeah yeah two torn achilles tendons last year um yeah i was kind of battling that on and off for about three three years oh my god now how did that happen uh just running injury yeah one was kind of like it just happened and then i didn't really know like i just had pain in my heel yeah, yeah. over the years it got worse and worse and then the right one um i think is because i was compensating so much it uh it went on me too so yeah i was kind of battling that for yeah really then, bad last year actually yeah so yeah 2022 you had a number of dnfs oh uh yeah, it's what, Oceanside. <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. It, was a, it was a rough goal last year. Yeah. And then two bike crashes, so. What the heck? We're just out a, training on bike crashes? Yeah, or race? yeah, yeah, yeah. So the one, like, actually, I was just on a training ride, and a dog came charging at me, so I had to dodge the dog, and then I hit the curb, and, yeah, it <laughs> went over. And then Oh, my God. The other one was actually right before Oregon 70.3. Yes, so, um, yeah, yeah. Two days before, and uh, hit some gravel and, and went down, and mess up both my hips so yeah so i kind of compare it to jan ferdano's journey last year too right just one thing after another yeah it was just yeah you just roll out the punches and then you try and get back to racing and then the next thing happens and so finally said no what take a break let's get healthy and uh yeah yeah i didn't realize how long it takes to build the form back up you know after yeah you know being injured for three years so <laughs> well, and you're a guy who's you, you've had two athletic careers yeah you were a yeah, goalie yeah <laughs> and was it a lung issue of some sort yeah yeah um collapsed lungs so from getting hit with the puck uh no just spontaneous wow so, yeah actually, both uh yeah one on the right 12 on the left so 12 collapses yeah <laughs> So. Something was telling you get the hell out of hockey. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, it's <laughs> a good way to put it. So. Yes. But yeah, I mean, you know, growing up is like being Canadian and everything. I was like, <laughs> come on, that's it. I was like, that was the dream was to to be a pro hockey player, and you know, had got to high level. Yeah. And then you know, being a goalie, you have two positions really on the team, and right. you know, you're you're a go-to position. So. And when you're in and out of the lineup because of collapsed lungs and stuff, yes. it's like, okay, this guy is, <laughs> he's, uh, he's gone. <laughs> so what's so. fascinating to me is we were this year, speaking of hockey, yeah. it, with the, with the um, uh, Las Vegas. Yep. And I think it was like their, what, their fifth string goalie or something who ended yeah. up being the, yeah. the winning, winning everything. Yeah. yeah. But it's like with a goalie, it's somebody gets hot. Have you had streaks like that when you were a goalie? Oh, where yeah. you just you it didn't matter what they shot you they weren't going to get by you yeah 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 just completely like in the flow and it's yes. it's a great feeling yeah there can't be sure. anything better than that because your team knows they can make mistakes and yeah. you're going to be there yeah right and you know that that uh you can stop anything yeah but i guess there's also the other side of that where, <laughs> some, where, where the thing looks like a watermelon's coming at you <laughs> and somehow it ends up in the net you know, yeah. what the hell yeah yeah i've seen both sides of the coin but, yes i mean it's it's just like in sports too like you know even this career as well right you have yes. good seasons and then you have a season like last season where it's like you have injuries and yes. sub par performances and you question like you know what am i doing here am i you know am i on the right path like am i yes you know, am i doing the right thing like you know i'm in my 30s now and um you know i want to be you know at the top right, right? 
And well, yeah. <laughs> you look at Jan's in, uh, over 40, you yeah. know, and Annie Hogg is getting faster at 40. Yeah. There's really no age is not the problem it, it used to be in the past. Yeah. What got you from hockey? hockey? I don't think we've seen a lot of guys go from hockey to professional triathlon. No, no. <laughs> I think you're in a very small subset. Yeah, yeah. Very kind of like unique position, which, you know, gives me some drive to, sure. you know, eventually I want to win an Ironman. And, you know, that's been my main goal coming into this. But, uh, yeah, what drove me was just like, you know, overcoming the lung surgery. And yes. being like, you know, I got really, really intrigued by like human performance and stuff. And I was like, hey, you know what? Let's try a marathon. Try a marathon. I was in a wheelchair after because <laughs> I didn't even know how to train for one and stuff but you just being a hockey guy you just went out and ran yeah <laughs> and did it every day yeah until your body then, said no yeah and then tried a triathlon and just fell in love with it yeah because you could suffer a lot yeah and yeah. then kind of realized I was good at endurance sports and uh minus swimming because you're a but, big guy yeah <laughs> a lot of times big guys don't transfer that way that well to long long distance but we're seeing again Jan Ferdano is a big guy there's yeah. a lot of bigger guys who are you know, big and lean and fast. Yeah, yeah, it's it's true and um, cover a lot of ground. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I just I just feel like pretty grateful to be in this situation because like how I look at it is like it's almost like a twenty year old coming into the NHL and trying to f figure out how to play at the highest level yeah. you can, right? Whereas you know, me has taken a few years to learn you know the biomechanics of being a world class athlete, right? right? And you know, it's just been a crazy transition and stuff. But I mean, I wouldn't. I you wouldn't trade it for it. Yeah. Well, because it's <laughs> I, it's interesting because I see that 2017, you were probably from hockey. You got into wealth management and had sort of like the real job. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and realized I'm not ready for this yet. <laughs> yeah. Andy Potts was do, like got out of college and was doing 90 cold calls a day. Right. You know. Yeah. And, and realized. I don't want to do this. Yeah. And then he called up USA Triathlon. Next thing you know, he's on the Olympic team. Yeah. <laughs> so for you, there must have been that moment where you're like, okay, I, I was an athlete, but I, I don't think I've, I don't think I'm, I've, uh, I, I don't think I want to give that up yet. I yeah. still want to be an athlete. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've always been an athlete at the core and I was like, I think I got robbed of my pro hockey career. Yes. Yeah. And, um, I saw this opportunity to be a professional triathlete and I was like, yeah, Why not? now or never. So. So as a, as, as a hockey guy, are there guys you were playing with who made it to the show? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's pretty <laughs> yeah, cool. Very few, but it's... Hey, it's, but it's, that's in all, in all those professions. Yeah. You know, yeah. going from the... that. And did you start when you were a little kid in hockey? And Yeah, six so, years old, so... <laughs> my God, and so were you tr on travel teams and, yeah. and living sort of on your own even when you were a little kid? Yeah, like yeah. Like, I moved away when I was 15 to... Oh my God. To go to that next level and stuff. And um, that is amazing. Yeah. That is, uh, that's <laughs> not something in triathlon. You're, you know, you stay at your home and uh, as you, as you go through juniors, et cetera, but in hockey and in a lot of times in baseball and other sports like yeah. that, you've got to go, you're traveling shows, right? Yeah. You're gone. Yeah. So living on your, that must have been, you get pretty lonely. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I lived with like my best friend who was on okay. the team and we had like a billet family. So yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a pretty good life. It to, wasn't bad. As a 15 year old. Yeah. So. <laughs> So now that you've seen this course and you've seen that there's a few pretty good guys here, yeah. what are your goals? Um, I mean, yeah, just going to the race. I'm kind of letting go of expectations, to be honest, and I just want to, like, focus on my objectives. And I think, like, yeah, I'm at the level now and have the experience to put together a really good race. And, yes. Um, you know, it's so hard to predict uh, the I know. full Ironman <laughs> or the, the full distance triathlon. What do you look so. at as your best race so far as a pro? Uh, probably Ironman quarter lane. Okay. Um, yeah, fourth, fourth overall fastest marathon. Um, and, uh, so like, I, I know it's within me and I think, you know, that's the only opinion that matters. That's and all that I, matters. I, I know if I can go on race day and execute what I'm capable of, it's going to be a good day. So, yeah. yeah. And the nice thing is you could still be do, doing wealth management. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah. And you can always go back to that. That's yeah. a cool thing is this is. This is all for fun and for seeing how, how good you can get. Yeah. You, know, you want to be your best version of you. And when, you, when the time is right, uh, you realize, okay, this is, uh, this, I'm, I'm one of the best in the world. And I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah. Or you go, okay, I've gone as far as I can go, and now it's time to do something else. Yeah, yeah that's true. You'll, something will tell you 
yeah. when the time is right to either <laughs> yeah. move on or yeah. move up. Yeah, I agree. And uh, I mean, you know, you look at the start list here, and it's like a rock star. <laughs> it's a hall of fame. You have yeah. you have all the Uber swimmers, all the Uber yes. bikers, yeah. and then Uber runners, and you're like, okay, like let's let's go, let's have let's some find fun. Out what this like, is. Yeah, and let's see what we're all made of. So. And an Uber course yeah. where you're going to finish right behind us in the stadium for five thousand people that <laughs> yeah. five days ago wasn't here. Yeah, you know, they build this thing, and then you're going to. You know, swim in a canal with hot air balloons floating over you with yeah. symphony music going on. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. pretty. It's a pretty yeah. special. Yeah, and you know, even just chatting with Sam Long, like we're really, really good buddies, yeah, yeah. right? And uh, he had like a rough go last year at this race, but he's like, no, he's like, even if you do have a rough go, I don't Doesn't think matter. you're going to. But he's like, even if you do, just just enjoy, enjoy every it. second like, it's, of it. It's such a unique, crazy race. It's I'm like, crazy. yeah, absolutely. When so. you run through the beer mile and there's a <laughs> yeah. mile of, 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 of <laughs> drunk folks cheering for you. <laughs> you'll forget all about everything else <laughs> yeah all, and then so. when you come in here with five thousand people going yeah. nuts how can you not be exactly. enjoying it's it so yeah well that's the nice thing is you're you're taking advantage of everything the sport has to offer yeah which is Absolutely. i bet after the you know the the lung thing could have ended your it ended your hockey career the achilles issues could have ended your career yeah and you gotta you really just got to um every moment is special and every one of the every race like this is uh is is something you never know if you're going to get a chance to do it again yeah absolutely perfect so, jason thank approach. you bud yeah. <laughs> thanks so much for taking time yeah thank you always a treat cool. man i love your story what you've accomplished is <laughs> yeah. is pretty damn amazing There's thank you not many hockey players out there who are out here at challenge rough <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> jason paul has been our guest everybody again breakfast with bob from beautiful challenge roth hold on we'll be right back